have to press Q lots of times. Uh oh. Error, error. A fatal internal error occurred. I don't want to press OK. Did I just kill my wallet? Did I just lose all my money? Hi everybody, welcome back to the Bitcoin Day Trader channel. I have found a hard disk with an old wallet on it. I inserted it into my PC, it's called 500 gigabytes blockchains. It has different blockchains and it has my Bitcoin blockchain. This is my wallet and it was, I think, Bitcoin 16 or something, but I have no Bitcoin core on this PC yet. So I have to reinstall that and I thought, let's do that together. That is the plan for today. This Bitcoin blockchain is very big. Let, let's let's check out together. It is a folder of 240. Whoa, 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 it's even more. Approximately 250 gigabytes. So we don't want to download that all again. Huh? Nobody wants to re-download stuff again. Look how many blocks these are. These are all 130 megabytes the piece. And it's 1681 pieces I have over here. We don't want to re-download it. We want to reuse this old wallet. So Let's do this together. Let's go to blah 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 dot bitcoin blah 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 blah. Cause this is very hard you guys. Uh, help us find, oh oh oh. Let's do this together, it's so much fun. Oh desktop wallet. Difficult to utilize QR codes when making transactions. We're talking about the big money plan. Man you wanna have everything safe? Have yourself the bitcoin core. Let's press next. This is so stupid. I'm an experienced user, of course. What's going on? I want Bitcoin Core, come on. So boring, I just want Bitcoin Core, thank you. Oh, this is a lot of work to get Bitcoin Core, man. 19.0.1, let's download the Windows version. And while we're downloading, we have ourselves fortune cookies. See, fortune cookies, Glückskick, Glückskookie, Licocaleta de la Suerte. I don't know, I can read this. Biscuit Sinua. Fortune cookie, give me advice. How to get private key. Let's hope it gives me fortune. I'm not so superstitious. Power may create an imposing image, but no larger cell. Tell that to Dark Vader. No. Not a nice cookie, but what is power? That's voltage times amperage. I don't know, that's what. What did I do? Why did I do this? This is such a dry cookie. But I was hoping that it would give me some fortune, some advice on how to get the private key. Okay, let's install this together. It's very easy and straightforward. Just click next, 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 next. There's nothing special. There are no hidden things in this install. Uh, let's run it. If it is the first time running, it will ask you if you already have a wallet somewhere. Uh, run Bitcoin Core. Uh, here we have it. Welcome to Bitcoin Core. S. Yes, this is the first time the program is launched. You can choose where Bitcoin stores its data. So let's choose the default directory first. So you can obviously click here and say use a custom data and then pick your old your blockchains folder and choose this folder. You could do that. I could choose this one, but I'm not gonna do that because that's too easy. It's just too easy. We can't do it the easy way. We gotta do it the hard way. So let's use the default data directory. So we're hiding it and we don't want it to download. It's not necessary because we don't want to use this eventually. Is there a way how we can change our wallet in here? Let me check quickly. No, no, no. Let's just do it the cool way. We're going to do this the cool way. Okay. We are here at the Bitcoin Day Trader channel. That means we are all Bitcoin Day Traders. And uh, which means that if you are here and you have been here before, uh, you know that we love to use command prompt on this window. Or on this window on this channel <laughs> we love to use command prompt so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna learn how to open bitcoin the cool way and i'm gonna teach you how you can figure this out for any program we're gonna start with bitcoin so let's start with opening the command window so press your uh, windows button cmd for command right click and run as an administrator and what we're gonna do in this command window is we're gonna use this command window to start bitcoin the ordinary way first time so how we can do this is we have to know where Bitcoin is on the PC. And we just installed it somewhere on our PC. I'm totally clueless. I don't know where Bitcoin is, but I can find it here. So right click here, more open file location, right click properties. And it would say, this is the location where we are supposed to go, the target. You see the target? So what we have to do is we have to get to this folder in the command window. So what we can do is type CD for change directory. We always do this on this channel and then write C double dot backslash and then it's 
program files and if you write p you know, if you would press the tab then it would auto fill it and then we go to program files and from the program files we go to cd bitcoin and again i wrote bi and then i press the tab button this button so now we are in the bitcoin core folder so let's check out this folder press directory dir and we can see we have here our bitcoin qt.exe we want to run this we want to learn how to start the program so let's start this program this way. So just write very easy bit and press tab and it will say Bitcoin qt.exe. Press enter and what will happen? Magically, the program starts. So now we know that we can communicate something to the program when running it. Let's continue this and let's go a little bit further. Now we want to use our old wallet folder. So let's exit it, now, it, now it's gone. We wanna reopen the program, so you can press the arrow up for a second, but we wanna give it a little bit of more uh, information. So we wanna give it, I think it was data directory equals, I'm not quite sure, this is a test. I'm not gonna edit this out, this is the first time trying, I can't remember it completely, I hope I'm doing it right. Now we have to give the data directory of our backup. It's the blockchain backup, Bitcoin blockchain, so, this here would be the right directory. K double dot backslash Bitcoin blockchain. That is copied. Go here, right click, and let's try if it works. Did I do it correct? Something happened. Did you see what happened? Did you see that? It is definitely happening because I saw something moving here. Is this from today? Yeah, that's today, yeah. It found our folder. So basically, this is all that we had to do. Take very long. I am very, very confusing. Can we safely exit it? This already works. As you can see, it is working. I checked the login file and the login file says, at the moment, today, the Bitcoin Core version started. It says the default data directory is this directory. That Then it says we're using the data directory. So this was the input that we gave it ourselves. We say use data directory, uh, something different. What we can do is we can conclude that this was all that was needed to start the wallet. That is the entire trick. <laughs> I want to show this lock screen that I just showed you. We can see that here nerd in this screen too. But we have to use not Bitcoin QT, but we're going to use the Bitcoin demon. And you're like, what is the Bitcoin demon? Stop the sorcery. What is a Bitcoin demon? Well, as you can see here, we have a directory demon. What is a directory demon? Well, a demon is like a ghost. A demon is a program that runs in the background. So this is, for instance, very interesting for you. If you just want to run a node, you don't want to see this stupid Bitcoin screen the entire time. You just want it hidden on the background. So we're going to use the demon. Here we saw that there is a demon directory. So in this folder demon, we have the Bitcoin demons. So let's run the Bitcoin demon with arguments. That's the word that I was looking for. The same starting arguments. Let's go to that folder, CD, and then we need to go to demon, but it's diamond with an R. Before we're gonna do this line, we're gonna say, show us the directory, and then we will see that we are in the same directory, so we're gonna start Bitcoin D.exe with the same arguments that we used before. So get out of the way, mouse. It's not gonna be Bitcoin QT this time, but we're gonna use Bitcoin D. And we're gonna run Bitcoin D with the data directory, the old data directory, and we're gonna use print to console. So it's gonna show us the lock screen. Probably, I'm not, Quite sure, not entirely sure, but I think it's gonna show us the console right here, right now, which is very cool. And then I think we can exit this video. Let's hope it works. Yes, it works. Woo, we can do this. Okay, so Bitcoin Core wallet is starting. It is exactly the same as we did before. The wallet is working, it is running. I'm very happy. It will continue downloading the blockchain, but it is very cool to watch it download the blockchain. If you wanna close this wallet, if you wanna close it, you have to press Ctrl C and you have to press it a lot of times. See, press a lot of that Ctrl C, like copy pasting, Ctrl C. I hope you guys learned something new today, <laughs> like I always say. <laughs> I hope you guys got the access to your old Bitcoin Core wallet and blockchain back and I hope you don't have to re-download the entire blockchain because it will take a while to download 300 gigabytes of information. If you did enjoy this video, let me know it by giving it a big uh, thumbs up and if you uh, did not enjoy it, subscribe to my channel, that would be very awesome. See this? My PC is having a hard time because it's doing multiple things at the same time. Okay. Goodbye. See you next time. Maybe you do enjoy watching Reddit videos. I have a couple of those. So go and check them out here. Oh. I don't know. Maybe you like them. Maybe they're dumb. But I enjoy making them. And I have to make some content. So 
Check them out, they're free. Doesn't cost you any money. I don't know. 